it's Miss Leanne. Welcome to our Bible study lesson today. Today we are going to hear a story that is in the book of Matthew, it's in the book of Mark, and it's also in the book of Luke. Remember, those are the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So we hear a lot of the same stories, right, from those four, um, four books of the Bible. Um, but before we get started, I want to ask you, have you ever climbed to the top of the mountain or, you know, just hiked to the top of a mountain? And what do you do when you get there? Do you look around and you see lots of things that maybe you didn't even know was there when you were at the bottom of the mountain, right? Sometimes um, that happens, like you get up there and you see things you never even thought you would see. Like sometimes if I go hiking near the beach, when I'm down at the bottom of the mountain, I can't really see the ocean, but then I climb up to the top and I can see the ocean far, far away, like way off into the distance and never see the end of the ocean. Those are my favorite hikes. So today we're gonna learn about a time when Jesus, um, he took three of his friends his closest friends and followers, and they saw something miraculous at the top of the, on the top of the mountain. Uh, what do you think that they saw? Let's find out. So we have been studying our big picture question, right? Why did Jesus perform miracles? Jesus performed miracles to glorify God, to show that he is the son of God and to care for people. So remember, miracles are something that's done by God that would normally be impossible, right? So I can't perform miracles, you can't perform miracles, but God can perform miracles, right? And when Jesus did impossible things, he proved that he has the power over creation. It demonstrated that he is the son of God and he also used miracles to meet people's needs for food and for healing and for safety, right? We learned that. So in our timeline, just to remember what we've been talking about over the last few weeks, we learned that Jesus calmed a storm to show uh, his disciples that he is God, right? He protected his disciples from sinking and this showed his power. We also talked about the time when Jesus miraculously fed a crowd with just five loaves of bread and two fish. Remember that? Lots of people, like over 5,000 people. The Bible says there was 5,000 men plus women and children. Again, Jesus was showing his compassion on the hungry people and proving that he is God because only God can do miracles, right? When another storm put the disciples in danger, Jesus showed that he is God by walking on water. They all worshiped him and glorified God after that. This week, we're gonna hear a story. Um, it's called, Jesus Showed His Glory. Let's take a listen. One day, Jesus led three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, up on a high mountain to pray. The disciples fell fast asleep. As Jesus prayed, his appearance suddenly changed. His face was shining like the sun and his clothes were as white as the light. The disciples woke up and saw Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Peter said, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you want, I will set up three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While Peter was still speaking, a bright cloud suddenly covered them. A voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. The disciples heard this and fell face down. They were terrified. Jesus came up and touched them. Get up, he said. Don't be afraid. When the disciples looked up, they did not see Moses or Elijah anymore. They only saw Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus said to them, Don't tell anyone what you saw until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. The disciples did not tell anyone, but they wondered what Jesus meant. They asked him, 
Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come before the Messiah comes? Jesus explained that Elijah had already come. That is, a prophet like Elijah had come. The people did not recognize him as a prophet and they mistreated him. Jesus said, in the same way, the Son of Man is going to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples realized Jesus was talking about John the Baptist. Jesus showed his glory to Peter, James, and John. Jesus said he would die, rise from the dead, and return to heaven. One day, Jesus will come back to earth in his glory to make all things new. Okay, so Jesus showed his glory to Peter, James, and John. Mark wrote that Jesus' clothing was whiter than any person could get them, no matter how he or she washed them. So sometimes we use bleach and special cleaners to get our clothes really white, but you have never seen clothes as white as Jesus' clothes were that day. Matthew explained that Jesus' face shone like the sun. It would have been incredibly bright, right? And just an incredible sight. Can you imagine someone's face? Don't look up at the sun, but I'm sure you guys have kind of glanced at the sun. It's so bright, you can hardly look at it, right? Yeah, that's how Jesus' face. Jesus' glory is bright and intense, but it's more than just a light. Jesus' glory is sort of like a combination of many different wonderful things about him. His glory is intense, is uh, the intensity of his goodness, right? Jesus is good, so, so good. It is the depth of his love. He loves so deep, right? Deep and wide. It is the fullness of his holiness. It is the height of his fame. It is the length of his endlessness. He never ends right? Jesus is eternal. He's forever. It's also the majesty of his power. Jesus is the greatest treasure in the world. Jesus is more than a good man or a wise teacher. He is the son of God. He is God's son, you guys. The Bible tells us he is the image of the invisible God. He is the king of all kings, all things were created by him and for him. Without him, all of creation could no longer exist. When Peter, James, and John saw Jesus in his glory, they saw who Jesus is more clearly than they had ever seen before. Jesus showed his glory to Peter, James, and John. Jesus said he would die, rise from the dead, and return to heaven. One day, Jesus will come back to earth in his glory to make all things new. This story tells us the first time Jesus revealed his glory to humans, but it will not be the last time humans see Jesus in his glory. When Jesus returns to earth wearing bright white clothing and shining brighter than the sun, he will destroy all evil and fix everything that's wrong in the world. Everyone who has faith in Jesus will receive new glorified bodies to live forever with God. Let's pray. Lord, help us to glorify you. Give us wisdom to obey and courage to tell others about you. We know that we can only imagine how wonderful you are. Help us live in hope for the time when Jesus will return to fix everything that is wrong. Amen. All right, so now let's talk about our key passage, okay? So our key passage is from the book of Psalm, right? Psalm 40, verse five. We've done this. This is week four of our verse. So. The key passage is, you have multiplied, oh my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. 
none can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them. Yet they are more than can be told. Psalm 45. This key passage helps us think about God. His plans and actions are perfect and righteous. We can praise him by doing what is best. No, we can praise him for doing what is best. All right, so our activity page, we normally do this um, on Zoom, but you can find your activity page in your little booklet that you got, okay? So it's a map or a, a um, maze, right? Here's Jesus at the top. The instructions say find the correct path from the bottom of the mountain to where Jesus is at the top, okay? So Jesus um, is standing at the top of the mountain in our, in our maze, right? And today we heard about a time when Jesus went up the mountain and his disciples got to see something wonderful, right? Um, that is pretty awesome that his, he did that for his disciples, right? They got to go up the mountain and see Jesus in all his glory. That's amazing, I can't wait for that day. Your questions will be also in your booklet, um, and then you can also find them on Facebook. So if your parents wanna look them up later, you can see those on Facebook too. You guys have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.